Benjamin Button. Uh, it's kind of a uh, interesting tale, I suppose, because this is the time and space. But you know, um, well, yeah, I guess you know it just shows that it's uh, a an old uh, uh, novel now, um, uh, which I'm assuming is completely fictional. Although there is indeed a real uh, uh, condition where someone happens to be born looking old, but of course, this being the real world, uh, where uh, brutality pretty much prevails uh, in every aspect of existence, uh, if that's not saying much, in real life, uh, I seriously doubt those people would age backwards, that would be so wonderful if it happened, but um, no, I doubt they, they don't, I'm pretty sure they don't uh, have that in many cases, because in the past they're very sad cases, they don't, they don't really live very long either. So anyway, this specifically, um, yeah, it's interesting, uh, as mentioned. Uh, the thing is, though, many people, um, this is about, you know, in terms of uh, believability, many people do not, like, you know, so far, as far as I know, only the captain who, you know, um, blamed his drunkenness, I mean, who, who yeah, a, a, you know, sea captain who's often drunk, it was pretty much the only one who, you know, really is, really is bothered to observe that he might be getting taller. Uh, uh, somehow, though, everyone else, like, really, like, you know, when he returns back to his mother, like, yeah, I know, she, she I, I don't get it, I mean, she even said, you know, let me look at you, and she didn't say anything specific about how he seems to be getting uh, younger, and, uh, well, egregiously, uh, um, you know, Daisy didn't, uh, egregious because you know she didn't even recognize him at first, but then somehow she absolutely liked the fact that it was him, he, uh, but didn't mention at all the fact that he looks so different, which is the reason she didn't recognize him in the first place. So I, I, I don't get it. It's not very believable that people just meet him after so long, especially if you know you've been gone for so long on a boat, you know that, especially you know, like, he, he, you know. It's one thing if, 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 you know, people on the boat itself, you know, they didn't remark about anything because, you know, they see each other every day. When, when, when you see each other, every, you know, when you see a person every day, you don't really see that they're, you know, um, changing at all. It happens just like, you know, it would happen with oneself, uh, you know, uh, over time, there's not really very many visible changes. Uh, but, I mean, you know, if you take a photo right now and then you take another one in 10 years there would obviously be some changes not, not, not just if um, I mean there's obviously changes you know from childhood to adulthood but there's even changes from you know 20 to 30 they might be you know smaller but there are changes anyway the, the point is though yeah this 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 is a bit ridiculous like I don't know is, is, is it is it all realistic because you know it's it's, it's one thing for for people to just like uh, 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 and uh, you know, uh, a drunken sea captain being the only one who will remark about it is just hilarious. You know how on earth could that uh, could, could could he be the only person? And uh, yeah, I mean it's not not a comedic tale, but it does have elements. Obviously, when it comes to you know the the, the flashbacks of that guy who uh, is struck by lightning, uh, uh, strewn throughout the entire movie. That's quite some subtle humor there, somehow he survives, even after uh, Benjamin returns after his uh, boat trip, um, when they continue with the flashbacks, those are pretty interesting, uh, but I found quite amusing, even though it's not really very expected humor, it's not quite conventional humor either, uh, nor is it, I don't know, I just, you know, I don't know, but I found amusing the fact that, you know, when uh, the old people first saw the baby at the beginning, uh, you know, one of them said that he looks like uh, her husband did, that, yeah, I don't know, I just found it amusing, um, but in real life that would be 
unfortunate. Um, you know, just yeah. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why he actually met his supposed father at some point before he went on the boat. Then you know, you never see him again. Not sure why he met him at all at the beginning, so. By the way, when it comes to makeup, yeah, it does, it does make uh, effective use of it. It's certainly better makeup than most other movies I've uh, seen, particularly, uh, um, well, Vice, I suppose, also didn't have the worst makeup. I think pro possibly the worst, though, was uh, directed in J. Edgar. Anyway, yes, yeah, so, uh, um, it is, so this is uh, effective and subtle, because, you know, uh, at the beginning, apparently, um, Benjamin is played by a different actor. You barely see the transition. Like, at one point, I thought, yeah, this must be where the pit took over. But I wasn't even sure. I mean, you know, I, I, at, at some point then, you know, when it comes to, you know, uh, you know Daisy and his uh, re re uh, reunion, uh, you know, uh, at nearly uh, one hour and a half, uh, yeah, it's obviously him, but... Um, you know, when uh, he first met the ambassador's wife there, I thought he might have taken over, but I wasn't sure still. He had still some wrinkles and such. So it's, it's, it's quite effective. You better see it. And at, at, at one point, at the beginning, I mean, I'm not sure if they got the other actor to actually uh, imitate the mannerisms that, that Pitt has. But I swear, it, uh, it was kind of confusing. So when it comes to that, they really did something subtle. I think uh, I I don't quite know the, who the other uh, other actor is. I've not, I don't think I've seen him in any, anything else. So I'm not entirely sure. You know, if I'm assuming he doesn't normally have the uh, mannerism of another person. Uh, I mean, you know, mannerisms are usually unique. So I'm assuming he did copy him, but he did he did quite well. Yeah, even underneath all that makeup, you know, it's um, uh, all the. Uh, facial mannerisms reminded me of indeed uh, how Brad Pitt usually emotes I guess you could say it, uh, it was quite um, something how they they did that uh, yeah um, but otherwise yeah it's uh, it, it's an interesting tale uh, that's uh, for sure oh and with regards to makeup once again um, I, you know, uh, I made I made a sort of a uh, cog cognitive no, uh, co um, uh, an, uh, an error in assumption, shall we say? Um, you know, I I uh, saw that uh, Tilda Swinton was in uh, in it in this movie, and I thought for a moment she was the alien patient in bed you know who we later know now get to know is Daisy um, but mainly because you know she played that character in um, I forgot quite what it was 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 it was that quite no was she played actually was it I think it was But um, you know, one of the the mothers still exists. If I was uh, commented on uh, a year ago, um, it's quite confusing too because I think she plays both the in uh, both a both a ballet instructor, which is uh, confusing still because there is ballet in uh, um, this movie as well. But she also plays an old man apparently, and she didn't reveal it until much later. So it's really confusing because she didn't. The old man didn't look at all like Tilda at all. Yeah, so uh, makeup uh, can do a lot of things. Clearly, uh, um, yeah, and so you know, I thought that she might have been her because you know makeup uh, still can do. I mean, you know, she, the the alien patient is, is clearly female, but uh, I thought it might have been her, but uh, nope, that's uh, she was the ambassador's wife in this movie. So I mean, evidence to, to the contrary, it's uh, it's not her. But I made that error, an assumption, because of yeah, because of what was it called again? 
Um, I forgot. Anyway, just yeah. So, by the way, um, you know, uh, as much as you know, it's in it's an interesting story. It's um annoying that they do with so many motorcycles, you know, and yeah, uh, incredibly annoying sound noise. Really, um, you know, I mean. Uh, uh, you know, Benjamin himself has one, but in addition to that, there's loads all around, and you know, it's just uh, very annoying and difficult to appreciate the other sounds, really. So, yeah, it's really annoying when the movies do that, you know, including you know, other um, vehicles generally, but. Uh, like, you know, it's, it's one thing to establish uh, an atmosphere, but, you know, you don't go over the top with it. Obviously, you know, uh, sound engineers can do everything, you know, like uh, makeup can do a lot of things. Uh, so they, they could just uh, cut it out or reduce the uh, sound, you know, the volume. So uh, it's not that they do do that. But yeah, besides that, I do like how the movie plays with time in its uh, script mainly, but uh, you know, also visual, I suppose. But you know, like even throw away comments, like there's some guy there, some uh, some uh, random child's random parent, you know, uh, at uh, you know, um, nine, you know, um, yeah, two twenty. 20 yeah um just says you know uh, before you turn around or grow up that's quite evocative i mean not literal obviously but evocative you know it's like saying it in the blink of an eye except you know it was uh, specific to the context of that the moment yeah and uh, there's there's many other things I like how you know the script made use of his condition to express more abstract notions about uh, time and life. Also, I like uh, um, Benjamin's character himself and how he's played. I suppose one can say he, he does retain quite a lot. I mean, you know, bo both actors do play him virtually identically, honestly. Um, maybe not so much when you know when they first start to uh, frolic and go into the apartment and such. That there he was much more active, I suppose. But then again, I don't know. I guess in that state, it's sort of understandable. But other than that, he's usually, you know, he has a, usually a, kind of an observer of what happens around him. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Obviously, not the most, uh, like, you know, at the beginning he did act somewhat like a child, even though he looked like a small old man. Um, you know, by, by uh, but not, not, not too much, obviously. He couldn't even walk around, so he couldn't exactly do what uh, other children do but um, he sort of retained that curiosity um, yeah even throughout like you know, he's supposed to be in his 50s now even though he don't, doesn't look like look like him but yeah it's quite interesting uh, it reminds me of course of his uh, uh, pit specifically uh, act in interview the vampire because you know vampires also do not age so so that's the specific uh, comparison which isn't identical to this they do not age there they, they you know, retain the age at which they uh, transitioned into being a vampire uh, whereas here of course he is aging backwards so you know still sort of uh, can be compared at uh, any rate. But yeah, no, um, it um, wasn't at all. I mean, you know, as much as you know, it's not like um, not not not, not like uh, that uh, vampire story was bad or anything. It's just interesting. 
in other words, particularly uh, one, one thing that was both beautiful and gruesome at the same time, uh, and as in a cell, you know, uh, which of you think? Um, you know, but this, uh, um, I don't know what this was. Honestly, uh, the execution was amazing. This, 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 uh, um, yeah, uh, this, it's, uh, it's quite some, uh, you know, um, I, d I didn't know if it's called Fridge Scar Java Square, which is uh, the right term for this. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm still, uh, merely speechless. By the way, I mean Scott, not Scotch. Anyway, yeah, um, you see, I'll try to explain exactly my view. My view about movies generally is that they rarely, live action movies specifically, rarely move. move yeah, and this, this has music by Alexander Desplat, which is why at one point I thought, wow, the music is amazing. Okay, so. Anyway, I want to say that, uh, yeah, mo mo movies rarely, rarely move me. You know? Most of them are just, I don't know, they're just there. Yeah. Um, you know, some of them are interesting, some of them have, have just good music, but, you know, I end up saying this music just totally doesn't belong here, you know, because the rest isn't good, you know, but as, as one can see, the music here is pretty. Uh, that that one that one of the guys there is from Green Book. Um didn't quite recognize him but I recognize the name. Anyway, so yeah, I was I was saying um I was saying you know many movies have different aspects, you know, s s some obviously aren't really very interesting at all, you know, some I have no idea why they're um, at all well received or well well received generally but you know uh, well rated and such or you know Oscars and whatnot. you know as far as I know this this is a popular movie but I don't think it's highly highly rated uh, it's it's above average but not very highly so this is always how my opinion seems to differ from many people um, yeah you see it's it is weird though Because let me try to explain exactly which is um so you see it began not very differently from any other movies and it had sort of you know well one could say go there wasn't as much go but you know th there was death I mean, it, you know, the whole movie is permeated with death really and I would normally um rate highly such movies that you know but obviously it's about what and what uh, how you know w what the death mean exactly you know? and this is the whole script was so you know even the narration was so well done uh, you know the deaths are almost poetic the way that it was set um it's j i don't know um Maybe it's just the way Eric Roth wrote, or Chris Gerald himself, I'm not sure who, uh, you know, who, who said what, but um, this was quite something. Because you see, uh, in a way, it's sort of, fo my opinion of this movie followed, followed <laughs> the journey of uh, Benjamin himself. So, you know. I, I didn't think much of it at the beginning, you know, I thought it was a gimmick. Uh, even though, you know, there was that one laugh at the beginning when she said, he looks like my ex-husband, you know. Uh, of course, it's not a comedy, ultimately. Uh, that's, that's very much the point here. But yeah, what it is, is unbelievable. It's, it's something well done, it's something that grows. It's something that is trying clearly to mimic life itself and it's so vivacious and so 
I thought, to be honest, I didn't think much of it for most of the movie. Um, I mean, I always thought, you know, it, it was you know, poetic. I didn't think it was like average. I thought it was at least slightly above average because of the poetry. Uh, but um, I didn't think it was like it was going to be so much better than many other most movies of it. Seriously, I haven't seen something as good for. A, you know, maybe it's just because I, I tend to watch a lot of, you know, like, honestly, I haven't watched, this is the best movie I've watched since I started commenting here, specifically. I think it's going to be my most highly rated movie from from them all. Um, I rated it uh, higher in the past, before that, but uh, I, I, I kind of rated it uh, higher generally before. But I see, the thing is, right, generally, Live action movies do not move me, uh, which is ironic, you know, considering that. But live action, generally, in specifically live action, doesn't move me as much. What usually elicits uh, powerful emotions, uh, funnily enough, for some reason, um, you know, whether whether you know, due to the script or you know plot or yeah, animation, I guess, uh, is anime usually specifically. Uh, I mean, you know, um, these Disney moves can be uh, fun and interesting, but yeah, they don't seem to move that much. So maybe it is, and not all um, anime then, of course, uh, but uh, yeah, some. I just noticed generally so that uh, I do not get moved as much when it comes to live action specifically. Just saying, you know. And honestly, overall, I don't tend to rate live action lately, at least, you know, for the last year or so, above six. I don't. Yeah. And that's something to do with uh, live action not really transcending boundaries, I guess. And, you know, I can virtually list uh, the number of sevens that I get. I'm not mentioning numbers, you know, because... You know, I mean, that, that, that really, I mean, it's, it's, it's just shallow, obviously. This is why, actually, I try to commentate, because, you know, there's obviously so much more to say about movies than simply numbers, you know, there's felt like it's not really saying much about, well, generally, whatever you watch uh, with numbers, you know, but obviously, it's, it's just a general indicator, basically. Yeah, so, um, but, you know... I don't know if I've just become too fussy in the last year because you know I, I really didn't. Uh, I, used, I used to give um, eight easily uh, when it comes to yeah anything, even live action. For the last year or so, I haven't. I don't think there was a single live action that I, I have given eight to, unfortunately. Seven star, I, I, I can, I did, but I, I can count them on my finger, really. So there was one, um, finally, uh, shallowly called the pretty one, which uh, I liked, again, despite the name, it actually has an interesting story. So, you know, regardless of names, I uh, obviously rate them, you know, based on, obviously. Um, yeah, and, um, um, there was a South Korean um, horror comedy. What was it called? I can't believe I'm forgetting it now. This is the funny thing, like uh, in old age, you know, which this movie is so much about. I just can't forget. Um, uh, just, you know, I haven't seen it in, what, a year now? So I think it's it's fine, really. <laughs> I can't wait. It's one word, so it's like, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's one. Is ah, I don't if remember so yeah and um, so that was that and then really hmm not entirely sure there's, there was anything else yeah now this this thing right so this thing be began on five like many others then 
fue el 96, yo me asesoré para eh, Lotus, el de Scholastic. At the end, so, uh, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, well, basically that. I mean, most of it was, most of the movie I uh, had it as a six, you know. I didn't think it would affect me much more than that. The uh, last ten minutes are quite something, so. Uh, the last ten minutes, for some reason, just broke me, honestly. And just like his evolution. I mean, it, it's an amazing concept, you know, and they executed it, they, they, you know, they, with the way the movie displayed it. And then honestly, it, it, I don't know if there's a, a clear distinction, you know, between movies and films, but if there was, you know, and movies, you know, can be anything, and um, the films can be, you know, artistic, you know, which ideally every uh, movie is as well, then this would be a film, pretty much. Um, I mean, it's as artistic as a film has become, but this is the thing, you know, it's, it has a, a concept which most movies, etc., do not. This is the problem, right? You know, I love concepts generally, right? I mean, generally, I guess movies with twists have concepts, but not necessarily concepts. I mean, you know, it can just be a twist, it's not a concept, but you know, I, I like twists as well. Anyway, point is, you know, unless it's, I don't know, possibly shallow, but I like most twists. Uh, this wasn't a, a twist as such, I suppose. Um, there, wa there was no twist. The way it was depicted, though. I, I don't know what it was. It just... Like, I almost expected what I saw in the last 10 minutes. Oh, wait, no, not exactly. I, I didn't expect him to literally become a big bird, but I, I should have expected it. I mean, it's not exactly the most unexpected thing, is it? Although still doesn't quite mesh up with regards to, you know, like, but then of course it would, make it would be absolutely impossible. Like, you know, if there was li a literal transition, like li literally um, life mirrored itself, you know, then he would have been born an old man who's already grown up. Uh, that may make sense, you know, and then died a baby. But no, he was still born a baby despite, you know, having spent, you know, an old man as a baby yeah and um and then apparently i don't think he had any wrinkles as a baby so um it's it's still well done here regardless of that little thing i mean it would have been impossible <laughs> it makes no sense why would why would someone be born already grown uh, absolutely a physical impossibility anyway yeah so this is the thing, so I mean, I know, it was this was depicted so well done. The, the, the script combined it so poetically, and the music, of course. Uh, this plot always, uh, generally, I think he's one of my favorites, along with Horner. But Horner tends to be a bit blunt, and you know, something like um, Perfect Storm. You know, he, he kind of. You know, I mean, the music is fine, but uh, it was added to inappropriate moments, in my opinion. Uh, commentated more on that as well. So, but this plot, this plot tends to be subtle, much more subtle than Horner. His music is quite beautiful. Yeah. So you know, this is the thing. You know, it's 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 when a film has all the ingredients that really impressed. Very rarely do any like like uh, you know, I even from the top to five oh, very rarely do I find anything like that. You know, as, as I was commenting, like I have no. No clue whatsoever, whatsoever why, you know, Forgiven is there, for example, as uh, you know, I just recently watched it, or these two other uh, stupid movies. Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't even want to mention him. Uh, th there are many stupid movies on top of the in my opinion, and this isn't even on top of the um, yeah, if, if it was rated slightly more, I think it would be, but um, I don't think it is right now uh, well, it's, it's such a shame uh, it is, I mean I, I've ever everyone has their own opinions so you know ultimately I'm not saying you know obviously everyone should hold my opinion so I'm not saying that and as I said so you know even I didn't quite hold the most favorable opinion of it in the beginning and for most of it 
um like uh, th there were parts where i didn't wasn't like, which i didn't like you know like yeah, at the beginning i didn't mind you know i thought it was weird you know he he he, he was basically you know living his life in an old people's home when he, he cl his mind clearly wasn't old uh what i didn't like though mostly was the uh boat scene uh yeah i don't know it just i know that he was on the boat there it's a bit uh Okay, his interactions, I guess, were still sort of interesting, uh, at least what he said, but uh, the other characters weren't really very interesting. I guess they tried to make it somewhat funny, and they, uh, I don't know, sort of, sort of had a, a vibe of uh, Perfect Storm and Fractal, like I just mentioned, except there were no storms, it was just a war, which I guess is also sort of a storm. And yeah, that's the thing, you know, symbolism. There's a storm in many places, of course, there, there would be, it's, it's New Orleans, you know. It's interesting how it's coincided with. Now, obviously, I'm assuming, yeah, no, they, they must have changed it, yeah, because obviously, Chris Gerald wasn't writing in <laughs> after 2004, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, they, 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 they would have added it. Like, uh, some movies add um, smartphones, etc., to update movies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the storm was interesting symbolism, definitely. Yeah, so there was a storm and such. No, no, there's the thing about saying goodnight to each other. I mean, that was a, a beautiful ad, honestly, I just, I guess. Yeah. So this is the weird thing, you know, for most of the movie, I thought, yeah, okay, this this is this is a six, yeah. Now, th as I said, I'm not saying this because, you know, I'm just trying to clarify my thoughts to for myself, really. Of course, I'm mainly talking to myself here, so. Yay. Um, anyway, um, very solipsistic. So, yeah, anyway, just saying, most of it was a six, you know, so regardless of, you know, shallow numbers and all, most of it was six. Um, no, the, 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 uh, at the end, though, yeah, I, I was thinking, yeah, this, this could definitely be a seven. But the way it ended, I swear, I'm, I'm thinking, might even be at eight. Uh, you know, as much as you know, the pretty one, despite the name, had a yeah, it still had an interesting concept, uh, more of a sort of twist in the movie itself, but um, still interesting concept with regards to memory and such. But the concept, yeah, this, yeah, and uh, I don't know. I, th I think I think this affected me more. Although I haven't seen. The, uh, the one for a while, so I'm not entirely sure. But this had everything the script, the music. So, you know, I'm thinking I might give it an 8. Well, I haven't I haven't given an 8 to a live action film in. Uh, I don't remember last time it was. Probably years ago because I was more lax. Uh, if I rewatched them, I probably wouldn't give. Just a comparison, though. I once watched once, you know, uh, like uh, almost a decade ago or so. I watched Synecdote in New York. Yeah, I think I watched it when Seymour uh, was still alive. So, yeah, it didn't have the extra poignancy at that point, but obviously, it became poignant a couple of years later. I think it was two thousand. So yeah, um. Uh, yeah. By the way, this uh, yeah. If uh, if this movie in Bunny Jumping Button uh, got about a, z a point two more, or best point three more, to go in the top two five votes, it's very popular. Otherwise, you know, more than half a million people uh, watched it. For some reason, the popularity is going down. So I have no idea why. So anyway, I um, I was just saying. I was just saying. I don't know, the way it affected me was quite something. Like, usually, only anime affects me like that, and sometimes because it's manipulative, as in, you know, manipulative with regards to emotions. This wasn't as such, you know, this, this was just. It's, it's like it was following its own logical conclusion. Pretty much what it was doing, I suppose. And obviously, not every old person gets dementia. 
but they they use the Legio as a sort of stereotypical old person, I guess. In a, uh, it was very weird to see. I got to I got to admit, but uh, it worked. It 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 obviously had its own logic. So I'm not entirely really sure what it was, but it clearly affected me. I'm not I'm not I'm, always, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, commentating on movies, you know, to say to hold anything back. In other words, and when I don't like movies, I say it. And when I do like them, I say it as well. I also commented on uh, the uh, pretty one, so that's there. That's, yeah, I, th I think that was the last time I ever gave seven to a live action movie. I, I, I give plenty of sixes, although they're becoming rare as well. Uh, most movies seem to be uh, average, as in five at best. I'm not sure if the you know, global average is five, but uh, you know. But five is usually where I begin. I'm just saying, you know, the, the way I rate them in my mind. I'm not sure if it makes any difference. So I I don't know what this was, but you know, I've seen plenty of uh, even top two five oh recently. I've seen um, the wild, the wild. I think it was just called the wild. Yeah, or no, uh, the wild outdoors. Yeah, I think the wild outdoors actually. Anyway, yeah, I also commented on it. Um. And you know, it, it was interesting, so it's not like I didn't like it, like, you know, those other couple of um, top 250 for some reason, no idea why, the average rater liked it so much, um, but you know, I only thought it was um, worthy of a 6, really, it didn't affect me, so I, th I thought it was poetic as well, the wild out, I think it was the wild outdoors, I'm not sure. Maybe you know, because there was another one as well, some stupid comedy from the 90s, a similar name. I think this was, yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm referring to the one with the, with the guy who gets lost out, outside who just wants to. I mean, I thought it was poetic, the script was, but um, you know, but yeah, the music didn't especially make me notice it, unlike the music here, and um. Well, the, the the plot didn't quite hammer it in like it just did. Didn't feel, didn't feel, didn't feel manipulative as such either. As I said, it just followed its own logical conclusion. The whole thing, so was was yeah. Like, you know, for for most of it, this is why I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit uh, conflicted. For most of it, I I didn't think it was even a, a seven. So then why do I just suddenly go? So why is it suddenly so so much? No, I, I don't know the way it was done at, at, at the end. So, you know, in addition to the script, the, the poetry of the script and the music, which is, I guess you could say, also the poetry, you know, it's just, just plot does everything really well. Um, you know, it just makes me think that, yeah, I just, I don't know, it, it is most of the ending, so lost in minutes. So, unbelievable. Yeah, I was just, I don't know. And um, yeah, not entirely sure why, uh, but now I'm thinking it uh, sort of reminds me of um, um, some yeah, Torchwood. Like you know, I've seen one one season of it though, so you know, um, seen the last season too, um, and it has some similar concepts, but it's more about never dying, as in you know, like uh, vampires rather than. Yeah, going backwards in time. It's a great concept, so I certainly loved it. That's uh, pretty much what I can say, and uh, it's quite something for Fitzgerald to come up with it. Uh, presumably, many decades ago. Yeah, and you know, it's quite effective. You know, effective with an A, yeah, quite uh, or E as well, to be fair. Quite effective. And yeah, I realize now that uh, uh, of course Fitch Gerald also wrote The Great Gatsby. Yes. Um this this just I think illustrates how different impressions are made really. And not so much the impression, I I guess, you know. I mean it it's still set 
and on the same era the, the, but the point is I re personally really disliked Great Gatsby uh, and in fact finally I rated it I think a 4 yeah uh, so just this just illustrates how you know ev even from the same author two different works can be so different um, last ten minutes are my absolute favorite it's uh, it's really a medley about life and death and existence it's quite something you know what I mean that, that, that sunshine there when you dwell on the pier um, it's quite something you know for, for a movie about you know so, so with so much death to be so amazing honestly it's just yeah uh, well I don't know just the last 10 minutes though mainly